Wait, what? All right, so hold on, hold on. She gonna let then you got the mic next. So you said, so you said all, all uh, the Aries are crazy and what else? And they are, and they're very loud, extra and dramatic, and they're loud. They're loud. So I was giving my students a brain break, and I heard these female students talking, and this is what they started talking about. And they be extra loud and. And what would you say about Virgo men? Virgo men are toxic, but Virgo women and are not toxic, and that's my opinion. Because I'm half Leo, half Virgo, so I'm not toxic or none of that. What you say? Well, Do you Virgo agree? men, they're not toxic. Like, it's really not a difference. It's really not a different. It's not. Go ahead, finish what you were saying. I'm done. All right. Finish. That's your thing. I don't even know what that means. Okay, that's that's good. So I had to get the audio of this because um, many times most of our students say, I don't know to every question. But all of a sudden now they know all about relationships and how zodiac signs and astrology plays into relationships and personalities. This is where she says she got it from. They they sound like they know a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> what? You do know a lot. But you be clueless in class, but you know about this, you know all about the zodiac signs. Yes. It's a <laughs> Why you know so much about the zodiac signs? Because, yes. Uh, basically, you can read people about their zodiac signs. Okay. Especially. No, how'd you learn about them? How'd you learn about them? Because I looked it up. Oh. And my mom was like, oh, I was like, mom, what's the zodiac sign? And then she told me to all about it. Okay. And then I just like, when people, based off, people, based off the way that people act, you can tell what type of sign they Okay. And. I wanted to hear this because we need to see how our children are being socialized to view each other, to view relationships. And if Zodiac signs are informing our children on how to move in relationships and informing our children how to view other people in our community, then we need to know that so we can see if this information is valid enough, if, if it's pertinent or relevant enough to continue to teach our kids these things and to teach our children what to do when they come across somebody that believes that they should treat you a certain way because of a zodiac sign or that you should act a certain way because because of a zodiac sign because um what we socialize our children to think about relationships uh starts to develop help to develop the way we treat each other and the way we treat ourselves and if it's not based on reality you know what is really going on then we should move away from that and we should know that this is going on so that we have a way to um, have a defense against this so that we can destroy certain things if we need to. But if we just ignore it, if we're not asking questions to our youth, then we all, we will have no clue how they get these ideas when they are in their teens and their 20s, 30s and 40s, because a lot of this information will go unchallenged because most people, they just tell kids just to shut up and they don't understand that these ideals and perspectives that they hold are going to be some of the same um, ideas that fuel the beliefs that lead to some of the pathological horrible behaviors we see so if our kids are being taught to look at zodiac signs as a way to determine whether or not somebody's a viable mate or a person they should do business with or somebody they should listen to we need to know that to substantiate whether or not this is good or not for the development of children into adults and will be good for our relationships in the future.